What's up guys? It's Preet's coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video today. We are back with the in streak going for win number 202 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. And I messed up that intro once and had to redo it. I said welcome back to another Binding of Isaac instead of another like in streak episode. Also, I don't like how this, I really do not like this. Why? Why did they why did they make the animation like this? What is this? I hate that. Okay. So we start with a range down. We start with really, really good damage. Not the best tier 8. The seed is 3T, 9R, T C M Y. We have two soul hearts of health, and we are ready to rock and roll. And we do have Montezuma's Revenge uh, to start off with and Trinket Smelter. And Montezuma's Revenge is an item that I said I didn't like, but uh, talking to Kielman a few months back, he was talking about how he actually really likes it. I was like, why? It messes you up. And I think I just think it messes me up. I don't think it actually does. So, let's we'll see how it is today. It seems like it's going to be very nice today. I think it's a good early run item. But anything not early run, it's not the best. Also, because it does make the, you have a weird delay in your shooting whenever you use it. So, I do want to get you. If I can get you, that'd be sick. Don't pick up anything else. I do want to get as many trinkets I can as I can this run. And I might take Trinket Smelter. Now, a cool combo would be Trinket Smelter and Mom's Box. If we could get that at some point in, in our lives, that'd be awesome. I don't expect it today, if I'm being honest. But you know what? Montezuma's Revenge is going to be kind of nice. I feel it. Oh. It does do a lot of damage. So, you know what? I should have to be careful. I keep on like standing way too still when I do it. But there we go. First boss down. No damage taken. We do get a syringe, which I love getting. Speed ball gives a speed up range up. Or sh speed up, shot speed up. That makes sense. Speed up and shot speed up for something called speed ball. It's a little bit too much sense if you ask me. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go see the, the new movie where the crawdads sing or whatever. I don't know what the movie exactly is. I was just berated at dinner. And my parents and my brother were like, hey, do you want to go see this movie? And I was trying to figure out what the movie was because I go to the movies a lot. So I see a lot of previews. So like, I, it sounded familiar. I just didn't know what it was. But I was like, oh, it's the one where the girl's in the swamp. And they're like, pretty much. So I'm going to Swamp Girl movie tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. Not going to lie. Seems like it's going to be a pretty good movie based off of um, the previews. Also, my mom said the book was really good. So seems promising. And there we go. This is a secret room. Three whole cents. You know, that's pretty That's pretty big ball and kind of money right there. That could get us far in life. And you know what? I'm going to do the risky play, right? Usually, we want to use our bombs on things that guarantee us resources. Like, secret rooms are pretty good. But I was hoping to open that chest and get something good. But chests, I feel like chests are always bad. Also, I probably should have just bombed into the, se or into the curse room. That would have been smart. Uh, we do have golden keys, so I'm going to do this. Hopefully, there's an enemy in here. There is. Hopefully, we get a bomb. We don't. Okay. And, oh, we have train smelter. Let me just use that real fast. Now, that does mean we're not going to find, like, any other active items this run. Uh, or we have a lower chance. Or I think it might make it so we can't find other active items. I don't really know how it works. I think that no makes it so you have a less lesser chance to find it. Something like that. Um, well... That is non-ideal. And I really should have gone to the curse room. The curse room didn't have bombs. So what I wanted to do is make sure I could buy more options. But we can't. So we're just going to go next floor. I think we're going to be fine with more without more options if we're going alt path. Which we are going to go. Because alt path isn't too bad. Okay. This guy surrounded with fireflies. Kind of rough. Okay, thank you. I think this is the secret room. Off the bat... I can almost guarantee that's going to be a secret room. And one thing that is nice about Montezuma, Montezuma's Revenge is it aims where you're running. So if you're running away from enemies, it shoots towards the enemies. And I'm not going to get that right now. I'm just going to come in here, fight the boss. Watch this. Kill all the guys. Kill all the guys. And a little brimstone is actually such a good item. Since it does get you towards uh, conjoined, it's also really nice. Oh my gosh. I did not see the little guy. Why is he summoning so many of these stupid guys? Also, I keep on almost full charging, like literally to the brink of it, and it's not what's happening. Does anybody else see what see this? Or is it just me? Also, I'm like on the brink of death. I'm fine though. 
Sorry, I lost like all con like all my concentration during that. Um, definitely not going in there. Definitely need to go find some health. But like, did you see how like I literally would charge up all the way and then just reset? It literally did that during the fight. Now, is it because I missed or something? Maybe. I don't know. Now I'm gonna try to like get this guy to shoot. Thank you. And Monastery's Revenge just has a really weird delay sometimes. I don't know if it's me just thinking that or if it's actually true. It's probably a little bit of both. And I am horrified right now. I am so low on health. If it seems like I'm act acting all cool, I am dying on the inside. Okay, please be a good pill. Okay, not a good pill. What we really need is the shop. Okay. This is my best bet right here. So this is what we're going to do. We get this bomb, I know. You guys are like, that was slick. Thank you. We're going to get this bomb, and we're going to bomb these for soul hearts. Come on, game. Stop messing with me. Okay. As long as it's not troll bombs, I'm going to be happy. Thank you for everything except those troll bombs. For that, I am not thankful. Oh my gosh. Why does it seem like we're so, so low on damage when we're really not? Ooh, I'm stressed, brothers. At least little Brimstone is here to save the day. Nice. Oh my gosh. I was like, there's another enemy here still. Who is it? It's you. There we go. Look, all of our health is back. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, I hate Dead Bird. Tooth and Nail is actually not too bad. It allows us to get... Uh, free access in the cursor rooms if we time it correctly. Other than that, though, it's kind of not my favorite. So we wait in a room for, I think, like, five seconds. We turn into Tooth and Nail. We get to come in here. Ooh, I really cannot see the ground of this floor today. And we cannot open that. That's too bad. Actually, we can, we'll can. we come back and open that in a second. I can go get this bomb for free since I do have invincibility. Okay. Yep. I knew if I ran fast enough, I could get in and out without getting hurt. So. Now we wait here. I don't know what the ring is around. Or I know what the ring is around our mouth. That's mom's lipstick. Interesting. Um, Seeker room can't be connected to this. Damage up is wonderful. What the heck? I always forget that mom's ring gives you a random rune, which makes sense because, you know, there's like a gem in it. So like, it makes sense why. I always forget. So it's just like a, just an odd little detail. Also, I want to come in here. I'm going to buy this and be sad that it didn't give me anything else. Let's go. Okay. Let's just go next floor. That boss fight was probably the worst I've ever done that boss fight. I've had like less health before during that and then done much better. I was just too focused on Montezuma's Revenge. I literally stopped looking at anything else other than the charge bar, trying to figure out what was happening. Like, there was times where I was shooting it, and it was just like, it reset. Like, it literally did reset. I don't care what anybody says. I saw it with my own two eyeballs. Nice. And Tooth and Nail's kind of nice, because sometimes it will randomly block damage, because it'll just luckily transform at the correct time. So Montezuma's Revenge is kind of hard to aim. Whenever you're not just like simply running away from enemies. And guillotine, I, I'm just gonna get guillotine. I really don't like guillotine. Honestly, I really wish I would have had Lazarags right there. But guillotine is like, it's a really solid item since it gives you tier rate and damage. So I'm gonna take it. Are there better things? Maybe. Is Lazarags better? Yeah. We're fine. Okay, we take all this, take all the money, take all you. We are one cent short of what we need. Oh, pock. Oh, nice. You know what? I get rewarded for the wrong things. High chance to drop coins. Fart when picking up coins. You know what? I don't even care. I'm picking you up. Now, why did I take uh, mom's purse? Just because having more trinkets at a time means that we're guaranteed that we can, like, suck up and eat all the trinkets on a floor. And that's kind of my... That's kind of my game plan right now. Trinkets are very, very strong if used correctly. Or if you, like, if you, like, I don't know, just suck all of them up. Not even if you use them correctly. So, I'm trying to get as many as I can. Because any little thing helps my game out. Okay, money. 
I like how we... F I think farting dirt whenever you pick up a penny is actually not a bad thing. I used to not want it. Just because it is annoying when you're trying to pick up a lot of money. But I think it actually helps me. But yeah, I don't... Monster Energy Revenge is taking up too much of my brain power. Or, like, it's making me think too much. Oh my gosh. That right there is Monazuma's Revenge again. I'm trying to use it too much. Now, is that Monazuma's Revenge fault? No, it's not. It's a little delirium. You are probably my least favorite familiar in this entire video game. Congratulations. You won that title all by yourself. Actually, a little delirium is not that bad. I would say that um, it's probably worse. I can't think of any right now because I don't like thinking about bad familiars. But the thing is, like, Little Delirium is just too inconsistent. I don't like random stuff, you know? Little Delirium can't, er... Yeah, Little Delirium can be really good. But sometimes Little Delirium is really bad. And Gabriel is not the boss I wanted to fight, because Gabriel is a lot harder than Uriel. But there we go. And is there anything else I really need to do on this floor? Not really. But, because I said that, I feel like there is more stuff I need to do on this floor. So, step one, don't step on spikes. Step two, profit. And look at that. If I have a, if I don't get a bomb, if I don't get a bomb, I'm gonna be mad. Also, look at that. I didn't even realize, I didn't even know that butt penny gave you a higher chance to get pennies. Oh wait, I can get this no matter what, I have flight. I'm such a silly goose. Okay, and I'm not gonna go lost form into the, the curse room because I can literally already do that. Take you. Take you, take you. There's a chest up here that I need to go get. And bombs, please. Thank you for the bombs. And I think that this right here should be the secret room. Thank you. And upon coming out of this room, I do believe if I take damage, I don't actually, if I take damage and leave this room, I should be back to normal. I'm not back to normal. I think you have to enter a room that actually has enemies in it. I thought if I was kind of trying to remember if, if you take damage or if there's enemies. Ooh, yes, please. I was talking about this the other day, but nine lives. If you get nine lives when you have one red heart, red heart of health, it is like the best item you can possibly get ever. So yeah, I guess it is whenever there's an enemy in the room. Well, I'm going next floor. I'm not going to go mines though. But yeah, if you get nine lives whenever you have one red heart of health, it means that um, it means that you're gonna stay at one red heart of health, or if you have no red heart health and you get nine lives, you actually gain health. It's actually super cool. And we aren't gonna be lost form forever. We are gonna get out of lost form in a second. But now I don't feel so bad about not taking Lazrags because we have li nine lives, nine nine lives. And this is what would have happened is if we had Lazrags and we took nine lives, nine lives has precedent over Lazrags, I believe. I might be mistaken. But whenever you get stuff like uh, Judas's Shadow, if you have Judas's Shadow and nine lives, you will always use the nine lives before you ever use the Judas's Shadow life, which really sucks because you have to die ten times in order to get that, and then you have no extra lives. It's kind of I don't know why they made it like that, but it's, it is like that, so not much I can do about it. Um, but yeah, Ooh. it is an inconvenience. Also, I didn't I did I, go, I did go into the curse room last floor. Ooh. I was like, I feel like I didn't go there. I didn't go in there with tooth and nail. That's what was confusing me. Okay, get away from me. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm just going to put a bomb right here. I'm probably going to put another bomb down later, but I don't need to right now. Fart. 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 Surprised that we don't. I mean, we're not even any closer to oh crap, but I feel like we are the ultimate poop combo. I guess I did just get butt pennies, and that's about all I got. That was poop related. Oh my gosh. Did Tooth and Nail just save me right there? Also, why did that break? I have so many questions. Also, does Tooth and Nail make it so I can walk over rocks? No, it doesn't. I'm so confused what just happened. Ooh, BFF is so good. BFF, all familiars deal double damage. Let's go. Wah, 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 wah. It's actually so good. I do really like it. So I shall take it. And we shall prosper. Can I please get more trinkets? I want to find the super secret room now because it can have those um, like fortune teller machines that give you trinkets. And you can get a dumb amount of trinkets from those. 
But at the same time, I don't want to spend money on that. So, we'll see. Okay, I, I'm looking for Liberty Cap. I'm looking for literally anything that can help me. Looking for trinkets. I'm just looking, you know? I'm a browser. I'm just on the search for things. Also, what broke this? Oh, I'm stupid. It was the green guy shooting poison bombs. You shoot, was shooting Ipecac tears. I don't know why I got so confused. But you know what? I love Odd Mushroom. Odd Mushroom this early in a game is fine because if you read the description, it says it's a 34% damage down, which sounds bad. But every damage up you pick up after you pick it up reduces that damage down. So you actually get like all that, most of that damage back. So, once you pick up a single damage up, you already have that damage back. Now, next damage up you get, you get even more damage. It goes crazy. Okay. Good. I don't like walk, trying to walk over spikes whenever I have um, guillotine. I did see that I farted the penny out of the middle, so I will go back and grab it. But yeah, trying to walk over spikes with, with guillotine is really, really rough. So, we won't be doing that today. What I will be doing is using... Our little little brimstone man to help us out as much as possible. Like, look, look at this. Little brimstone with BFF has so much damage. Also, Little Delirium has a lot of damage now, which is also pretty nice. Oh my gosh, that went crazy. This is gonna be a fast run. I'm feeling it. Honestly, I probably could go for um, boss rush or something this run. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to use my tax more than I should. Nothing else on this floor that I need to use. I'm just going next floor. I'm trying to go fast and aggressive this run, you know? Get it done. Sick kid style. Not like sick kid style. That sounded rough. Also, yes, I am gonna finish fighting this because I deal with this guppy item. We are so close to guppy now, it's kind of ridiculous. Also, my dodges? Kind of insane today. So I feel like the corn poop has like homing abilities because it, like it's hitting all the enemies. I'm not even aiming at them. Also, one thing that is good about Little Delirium is Little Delirium can turn into Incubus, which is pretty sick. It's one of the best familiars it can turn into. Guppy time. Guppy time. Wait, what does this do? Move with players' movement inputs. Drop to keep the familiars in place. I don't want that. That makes me sad. It doesn't actually make me sad. I just, make, I, just, I just don't like it. Okay, well. We are not a wizard. But we can still shoot straight because we have our best friend. Also, the tier rate up right now is unneeded. Now that I realize that we have max tier rate already. How did I get max tier rate so early? We started out with really bad tier rate. Did we just get that many tier rate items? Guess we did. Ain't that kind of nice. Good health, nice. Post hat, what are you doing here? Dang, I'm actually hitting my shots with the Wiz. Or with a uh, I Am Wizard effect. And another tier eight up. This is the type of pills I wish we could get on a normal run. You know, just every pill is more op, or what the heck, more options. Every pill is tears up. So I, I just don't get hit by tears anymore, it's nice. I might as well take stopwatch. Makes enemies slower. So it makes permanent sl slow effect for enemies. Plus three speed. I feel like stopwatch should be one of the an item that gives you like a a speed up that breaks the speed cap. It should let you go to like 2.2 speed. That'd be cool. Because technically it is making the game slower, not you faster. But the game is like, nope, we're giving you a speed up. And that's how we're making you faster. Like, come on, my, I'm excited makes me go above speed cap. I remember there have there has been a lot of videos on YouTube. They're like, how to break the speed cap as Isaac. And it's a bunch of stupid stuff, but like using dark arts or like things like that, which is like, that's not breaking the speed cap. Sure, you're going fast, but like your stat is never breaking. You're never like changing your speed stat. So it's like, it's not a real, it's not a real thing. Whenever you go like... Mar Mario Invincible mode, you are also not breaking speed cap. Also, if you saw right there, a black fly just turned into one of the turret flies, which does happen sometimes. It's crazy. 
I didn't know that for a long time, and then it happened during stream once, and everybody was confused, and then somebody's like, yep, it can happen, and we're like, well, now it's not as cool now that we know what happened. We liked the mystery when it happened. Also, some people have been asking when I'm going to stream again. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Most days, like, I, if I, I, I've been thinking about, like, just starting to stream, like, the games that my friends and I play instead of streaming Isaac. And if I did that, I'd probably just, like, stream on Twitch or something just because I don't want that, like, flooding my YouTube channel. Or I could just delete the streams afterwards either way. But, yeah. In that case, I'd probably, like, need to make, like, a Preet's VOD channel. Not really, but maybe. I'm not trying to make a second channel for anything. It's just, like, if people really wanted to go watch that, they could. Also, do I want Explosivo? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Oh my gosh, that was very, very big brain to me right there. Take damage so that I can't, like, take damage anymore. Except I will still take damage, so it's not as big brain, but the thought was there. That was not actually the thought. I just kind of walked into the spikes. It's very sad. Uh, it's the room could be to the right of this room. Can it be below this room? Survey says it literally can be... So I think it will be. Okay, well that sucked. I always shoot my bombs away from the wall. I don't know what my issue is, but I'm just like, I almost walked in the same spikes. Um, I'm just taking it. I don't know what else could be in this room. I don't even want to find out. It's gonna make me more sad if I found out I missed like a really good item. Also, I need to hope, or I need to hope, I'm hoping that I don't get an angel deal on this floor because I literally already got an angel deal. So if I do get the angel deal, bad times if i don't get the angel deal good times good so see the reason why we didn't want an angel deal right there is because even though we got into an angel deal it didn't count as us getting the angel deal for the angel chance and because of that we are going to have a 63.7 percent chance or 67.3 percent chance to get an angel deal on the next floor which is very very sick nasty right yeah, or 62.5. What the heck? I was thinking, I was saying the wrong number. Oh, I was almost, I was kind of close. I was getting the numbers confused for the devil, the, like the lower number and the bigger number. So I knew that there was a th like a something seven. I thought it was 67. No, it's 37. Now, I've never understood those numbers exactly because like, that's like not a quarter. It's not. It's kind of just wacky. So yes, I am just gonna suck that trinket up. And why did I not go mausoleum? I don't think I could do Mausoleum right now. I, I, like we're strong, but I feel like I'm not playing that well. Also, no boss rush for us. So this is a painful room. If you don't have a good setup, this is really rough. The fire babies go crazy sometimes. And what the heck? Yeah, I'm playing a really, really bad today. It just happens sometimes. Some days, not on top of my game. Some days, really on top of my game. Hey, we don't. I don't always have to be on top of my game. That's the cool part. That's the cool thing. And I feel like the secret room is to the left of this room. I would bet a whole dollar on it. Nothing more, nothing less. I think less than a dollar. People would think I'm just like bluffing. They're just like, you know what? This is just a weird bet. This is a guess bet. It's dangerous for both parties. Okay, also our luck is pretty high this this game. We've gotten pretty lucky when it came to lucky pennies. Hey, give me my bomb. Thank you. And we are going to get the secret room right now. No, it's not the secret room. Okay, I'm guessing secret room is below this, or below to the left of this room. That's my new guess. Am I allowed to keep guessing like that? Yes. Because eventually I'm going to be right, and it's going to be very cool. Now if I clipped it, it would sound like I knew exactly what I was talking about. If you looked at everything, you'd see that it didn't. And Nod Leaf? Nod Leaf is pretty much tooth and nail, except not. So thanks. Thanks, game. Very cool. Also, why did I not go into the curse room? What am I doing with my life? Nope. Neither of those are good. Now it's time. You know what? I can just use the full card. Aw, man. For, for some reason, I was like, I'm going to be invincible. Also, I thought I changed because I couldn't actually see myself. Well, I actually ended up losing more health than I gained there, which is very sucky. Also, why not? We're just going to bomb this for justice. Thank you, game. I do believe that the secret room 
is either below this I think the secret room is below this room. You know what? I changed my mind. You know what? I don't think it's below that room. I think it's below the room that I said it was below already. You know, I don't even have a bomb. I give up. Did I find the shop yet? Hey, I found the shop. And look at this. We have two little little brimstones. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Hey, another bomb. Now we can go find the secret room for real this time. And I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. We have two whole bombs. Part of me does feel like the secret room is above this room. Now, I think if, if I bomb here and the secret room is actually right here, then I'm just stupid. Wow. I am just stupid. I should have just bombed where I thought it was. Instead of bombing, like, I'm like, oh, it could also be here. How foolish of me. I will go back and buy the bomb. Was there a bomb to buy or was there a key to buy? Did I buy the bomb already? The world may never know. Okay, well... We have not gotten many trinkets on this run. I feel like we've had much less trinkets than usual. Which is a little bit not cool. Trinket? I swear, I get a lot more trinkets usually. But here we go. In a world. Like none other. There's some TikTok of some guy doing it. He really didn't sound like the thing other than the here we go part. But the TikTok got a lot of likes. TikTok, there's so many videos on TikTok that just get likes for the most random reasons, I feel like. Literally anybody can feel like they're famous because of TikTok, which is cool. I think it's very cool. But some people are like, yep, now I'm famous. No, you're not. Just your video went viral. A video going viral does not make you famous, lady. It's usually these ladies who are like, who, who say who say that. Not saying I'm not trying to like say I'm not being like misogynistic or anything. I'm just, I'm just saying it's just like there's these like middle-aged women who are like, look, I'm famous. Margaret, you're not famous. Okay, if we get hit once on this floor, we die. Let's go. Should I have taken both of those? No, I should not have. Did I take both of those? Yes, I did. Why? Because we're trying to get our damage up. Okay, you're scared of me. Now what? I do want money, so I should probably grab it. Oh, guppy! Okay, ooh, and we get little horn. Oh my gosh, this run is like, we've gotten lucky in some aspects, but like really unlucky in others. And I'm just grabbing money because next time I get a devil deal, one of the I, or one of the devil deals could be for money, and I do want to have enough money to buy it. But I would have bought Athme right there if I had 15 cents, just because it didn't matter. Like, I also just could have taken it a second ago. So if I lose this rotten heart, we just die. Ooh, what does this do again? Shot speed up. That's fine with me. Shot speed up's not too bad. I'm a little silly wacky, not gonna lie. Almost got a little little hurt. Also, I have flight. What the heck? What am I doing? Whenever I have flight, I literally just forget every, everything. I'm just like, you know what? Gotta dodge these spikes. So I wait for them and I'm like, oh, well. Everybody always, com always comments about it too. They're like, you know you had flight right there. I know. It's mainly like whenever I would, I would stream. I'm very good at like not realizing I have flight all the time even when I have just gotten it now, I will say in that case right there it was I it was the excitement of getting guppy then immediately going to a room that had no holes in the ground to where the excitement of guppy was over and so I was just like I knew I had guppy I forgot guppy had flight kind of okay tinted rock we don't really need bombs nope now what if there was a tinted rock there and I just didn't bomb it I love Explosivo. I'm glad I took it. I almost didn't. Well, that was Black Rune. So that right there is why you never use Blank Rune in an item room. People are like, use, or using the item room, it could be Perthro. It could be Perthro, but it could also be Black Rune. Now, I guess Black Rune is not the worst thing to use in an item room. If you use Perthro in an item room, then guess what? You just, or if you get, or if you use Black Rune in an item room, you just get free stats. 
Like, do you want that? I don't think you do. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I feel like you don't want that. I feel like you want anything other than that. But I get it. I was kind of about to be upset about this when I realized. Kind of cool. And that can't be anything. I'm just gonna keep following this path. Because I believe in this path. And this is definitely the super secret room right here. Just has to be. Just looks like it. I'm surprised I've not taken any damage. Oh my gosh. We are playing the lost experience. This is risky. That This maneuver I just did, a little riskier than I should be doing. Nice. Uh, take you. We get a single black heart from that. Oh, oh, good, it's for 15 cents. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Now we have conjoined. I didn't even realize it was for 15 cents. I can't see what the trinket does. Does the trinket always, does it guarantee that one of the items is going to be for sale? I think it might. I don't know, though. I don't know a lot of things. I do have holy mantle right now, uh, or a single holy mantle charge, because I did use a holy card. Which holy card is a card that I don't care about too often, but in this situation, I love it. Yes, give me all the money. Do I need it for anything? No. Also, this sucks because I'm actually, I'm not even that close to getting delirium. <gasps> luck up. Ooh, that's actually insane. Since we have little horn, getting a luck up is huge. But yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get to hush. Did I say delirium a second ago? I might have. I meant hush. I also don't want to go to Hush. Hush would be really bad on this run. Oh my gosh. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, I can fly in for free. Forgot about that. And, ooh, Black Candle's so good. Oh, I just got Tooth and Nail. I always think it's on the third tick. It That's what does the re or does the invincibility but it's three ticks then invincibility which really throws me off so i don't want to do this floor again there's pretty much no reason to do womb again unless you want to get like another like secret room maybe which could get you like another item but in my situation right now actually i guess it could get me another angel deal or another devil deal chance i might use that if we're not going to get Hush, I guess I can just do this floor again. What's the harm in that? Nice. Where's this boss? No way I'm not running into the boss. No shot, bro. Good. There's still money in that room, I know. I don't need money. Money doesn't mean much to me anymore. I should start donating more again, because I am low on low on funds in my donation machine. But that's a next run Preet's problem. Nice. And it's mom time, or mother, mom tart. Uh, it lives time. I that I went through a lot of names right there to get to the right one. And another devil deal. What did I do to deserve this game? Also, I'm not getting another devil deal. Let's be honest. I'm going next floor. Did I maybe did I get another devil deal if I did that again? Maybe. If you guys play this seed, you will find out. But I assume that I wouldn't get another one, so I don't want to like waste my time doing that if I don't have to. Okay, it's just a regular chest. I don't even need like any specific chests. What I do need is actually wouldn't like regular chests are nice and gold chests are nice right now cuz they can both give me trinkets. I did just lose my holy mantle cuz these ghosts now, ghosts are weird because they will just, like, kind of... I think they can spawn very close to you sometimes. Which, it does suck that things can't spawn on top of you. Like, the reason... Listen, let me finish my statement first before you guys think anything. The reason why I'm saying it's dumb that things can't spawn on top of you is not because it's actually dumb that things can't spawn on top of you. It's that the fact that things can... Because they don't spawn on top of you, they spawn literally right next to you sometimes. Which makes it almost easier to run into them. Because it's just, like, you'll be running in a line... And at that second, it's like, oh, yes. Coordinate 320. I don't know why I gave three coordinates there, but co coordinate 32. 
is one space away from the player. Therefore, we can spawn an enemy. But I'm literally running to that spot, so I just get murked. It happens. This is why I don't like the farty, the farty penny item. But penny kind of sucks. I'm trying to pick up my money, I'm trying to get my cash up. It's rough. So one of my favorite TikToks I've seen in a long time, or videos in general. This is the guy who asks his like Valorant partner. He's like, "Oh, did you and your girl break up?" He's like, "No, she's broke. I'm up." I actually love that video. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> It's inspirational. May I think that might not even be the original version of that, but no matter what, it was funny. Nice. Go, go, go. Ooh, perfection. We can swallow perfection, and swallowing perfection does not mean that it will, won't leave you. If you do get hit, you'll still lose it, but it's nice that we have it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Talk about a crazy last floor. We got two of the craziest. Let's go. Ooh, Jelly Belly and number two. We got two of the craziest damage up items in this entire game. I think Polyphemus, is Polyphemus a 1.5 times damage up? I can't remember, or I think it is. I don't know what it is. Candy Heart, I actually do like you as well. Like, look at this. We went from having, like, no damage to having 47 damage in the matter of two chests. Also, look at all of our familiars. Good. Secret room time. You like how I still try to run through there? I was trying to preemptively run so that, like, the game would be like, ah, uh, it'd be sad for him to run into a wall. But the game doesn't care. Oh, my gosh. This is disgusting. Like, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how this works. Oh my, it takes so long for, oh wait, this is what I don't like about, this is what I don't like about Modest Room's Revenge. I'm pretty sure Modest Room's Revenge is the reason why it takes me a second to shoot sometimes. Now I might be completely wrong. Probably am completely wrong, if I'm being honest. I think it might be the reason. Also, what the heck? The game is like, you know what? We gave you two of the craziest items, but now we're going to give you only familiars. But yeah, sometimes Montezuma's Revenge does cause you to have this like weird delay when you shoot. I've had this issue only with Montezuma's Revenge. And it's so weird. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it does happen. Like right there, it didn't happen. I don't know. Thank you, Scapular. I'm not going to use you, though. Oh, is it? I can't tell if it's Montezuma's Revenge or like... Number two. Oh my gosh, what is this? I know this might not be a good setup, but I don't even care. Oh, now, okay, mon okay. this is actually such a cool uh, combo. Whenever you have soy milk and uh, monsters long, you just randomly shoot out shotgun shots. Choo, 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 choo. And it's so OP, it's such a good combo. It seems like it might be bad, but like, look at this. Especially when you have a lot of like luck or luck-based items, super good. And that right there is the run. I know this was a rather short run, only 38 minutes in total was this video. It's probably gonna be, well, it's probably gonna be exactly about 38, 39 minutes. But I hope you guys did enjoy this run. That right there was win 202 in a row. If you guys did like that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel, helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out, bye.